Hello everyone. Welcome back to Linda's Stampin' Escape and my Tuesday night live. How is everybody doing this Tuesday evening? When you pop in, make sure you get your name in the comments. Say hello. Welcome, welcome. All right. It is definitely a Tuesday. Don't forget to say hello when you pop on so I know you're here. All right. It was a stormy morning. Good morning. I should say good afternoon. Good evening, Barb. We'll get this right yet. I told you it was Tuesday. Oh, gosh. It has been one of those days, and I am so happy to be here with you guys tonight because for some reason, y'all cheer me up. So, and what isn't cheery enough than the holidays and some sweet candy canes? We're going to be playing just a little bit with this bundle. Hello, Kathy. I am doing okay. I'm doing better now that I'm here with you guys. How can you say it's been a long work week and it's only Tuesday? Oh, my, my. It's so interesting, isn't it? So I'm just going to wait a minute or two until we get a couple more people on. We've got more people watching than we have saying hello, but my comments are not showing up. I don't know what's going on. Oh, goodness gracious. So I'm trying here. Oh, thank you, Kathy. <laughs> and I love being here. All right. So... And Vicki and Cheryl just joined us. Welcome, ladies. All right, I'm going to get started. Um, I'm going to be playing a little bit with the Sweet Candy Canes today. It comes from the Sweetest Christmas Sweet. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Anyhow, Yes, all this fun stuff is in one big monster suite. That's what I call them. And because they have two bundles inside one suite, so it's a mega suite. So they have the Sweet Candy Canes bundle, and then they have the Christmas Banners bundle, which I will not be working with tonight. But um, you will be seeing that in the future. It's got some cool stuff to play with it. Tonight we're going to be playing with the Sweet Candy Canes bundle and who knows what else. So besides the designer paper, which I think I shared with everybody at the kickoff party. So it's, it's fun paper and you can cut out lots of candy canes. And I like the fact that it has patterns like this that you don't have to use for Christmas, but you can. So that's always nice when they do that. So my club members are gonna like this because tonight I'm doing that book binding fold, which we did in our club this month. So now you guys are going to see that transformed into a totally different card. So isn't that fun? All right, let's set this off to the side for now. And let's pull in our cardstock. We are going to start with a piece of cardstock that is 11 and a half by four and a quarter. And I think I have to flip this because <laughs> then you're going to score at five and a half 
and then you will score again at six and three quarters. And then this is what's going to make your book binding fold, which is pretty slick, let me tell you. What's nice about cutting it or scoring it this way is your center hosts a four by four mat which means your stamp area or whatever you want to work with next will be three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So let me explain that a little bit better with paper. <laughs> so our red is going to be the four by four. All right. And then we are going to use designer series paper from our suite that is three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So in actuality, we could, that's pretty too, and I could use that side as well. But I'm going to stick with just the plain green and really pop out some Christmas colors here. And then I also cut another four and a quarter, I mean four by four and three and three quarters by three and three quarters, and this will go on my inside. So that way we don't get our cardstocks mixed up when we do it that way. So we can actually put this on right now because we took, you ladies notice that I always run out of adhesive when I'm alive? <laughs> you would think by now I would put this, a nice fresh one right there for myself. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to my stamp table. There we go. This is supposed to be my creative spot, but guess what, I always work on my big tables. All right. And I do that because I can do all four, five, six cards at a time. Now I'm going to add this paper here. You could do the polka dots. The club used the polka dot side. And they did that because we did the barn. And this appears to be just a hair too long. So my trimming skills have a little bit to be desired. And when I move all my stuff over there, I move all my stuff over there. All right, let's just, oh, I guess it's not. I guess it's okay, good. Just got to get it on straight. There we go. All right. So, in our club, we actually had a really nice long piece of paper. I think this is about 12 to 13 inches long. And we actually put this on the inside here and then tied a big bow. But I am going to show you a quicker and simpler way to do this. And if you ever come and stamp with me, you're going to notice that the ones that I always glue down have blunt ends. And the ones I use to make my bows with always have a angled edge. So now you know. And that is a whole lot of adhesive there. So I'm going to put this right in the middle. side do I like best? This side. I think that'll lay nicer. And that should fall right in the middle of here. Yes. Perfect. And we don't need that much. So I'm going to trim that off a bit. Use my block to really push that into my adhesive. Now I'm going to run my adhesive and on this one, I'm using the Stampin' Seal Plus because it really holds well. 
Now we're going to take this whole piece and just lay it down. Okay. And this is where the book binding comes in. So now you only get that piece right there. That's actually four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And that way your four by four red. And this is so sticky, you do not need a lot of adhesive. Let me put that here. This is going to go on the inside. And then we'll do our white. A lot of times I don't even demo the inside on my live, so special treat tonight. All right. This just gives you a nice pop of color on the inside. There we go. So to finish off our bow, let me see if we want to do that first. I guess it doesn't matter. So this just gets slid right under here. So underneath the piece you did there, and then you are just going to tie one time and trim your edges. Lays a little fatter than them little flatter than those fluffy ones and it's not going to untie on you so works really nice fun fold and now let's doctor this up a hair so this paper comes with the candy canes on it okay and all you gotta do is cut them out and you can see that there's two of them in the die set so that you can cross them over if you want. You can use them singly if you want. But I love it when they make the paper so that the dies play nicely with them. Just works out really nice. Gives you more options. And the fact that they put a really cool pattern on the back so if you cut it, we could actually go this way. But we're going to go this way because that is just going to pop. This one gets a little hidden because of all the green. So I chose these candy canes because they had the pink in there and the pool party and then that really soft red. And then over here, we had the deep red, the soft red, the pool party, and then the green, which ties in with this green. So it all kind of goes together and works like magic. All right, so simple card. Cards don't have to be hard, especially if you're making lots of them. This is the one we want. If you have a lot of Christmas cards to make, which I know some of you do, I'm just going to tuck that there. And then I'm going to angle this one just a little bit different so they don't look exactly the same. Tip that one over here. And now we're just going to add a little greeting. And wasn't sure if I wanted to do that in real red to just flow consistently, and I think that's what I'll do. Even though we have the gray background. And Kathy says she makes 100. You go, girl. I don't think I've ever made that many. But I know that your um, Christmas list, you make a lot of people happy, Kathy. So we're just going to take this little die cut here, and I just did one of the circle dies. And let's see how good I can line this up. So this is Candy Cane Wishes and Mistletoe Kisses. So they actually have um, a mistletoe stamp and little little dies that you could cut out and we could have actually added to here which would have really been kind of cute and I might do that later but I did not pre-die cut and 
And I don't think I'm going to run and drag that whole thing over. <laughs> this is going to be kind of a quickie tonight. Although I do have some more fun to share with you. All right. So let's just pop this right in here. And we used our dimensionals to pop that up. Add a little texture to it. And now I want to bring that soft pink in there. So we are going to use some of our little sequins. And this also comes in the sweet. Just going to put one there. And maybe. <laughs> See, this is the hardest part for me is putting that the sparkly's on. Why is that so hard? Okay. Nope. I'm just going to go over here. That should balance it all pretty good. There's our triangle. Let's, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to kind of swap spots here and put that bigger one lower. I have this thing about it's heavy, so it should be lower. So quick and simple... Hi, Cindy. Nice to see you join us. We have a nice crowd tonight. All right, so then we just put those again in that little triangle because that draws your eye. We got that deep red from here, here, and on that designer paper, so it all kind of ties together real easy and real nice and quick to make. So again, this is our sweet candy cane bundle, but in that bundle comes this funny looking die. And if you, oh, I left my paper in there from before. So um, if you look at the catalog, this is the coolest thing because there it is. And it has little candy canes stuck in that. And I just think that is so cute. But if we think outside of the box just a little bit, we're going to take that. And we're going to use our candy canes and our little greeting we had before. And we die cut that in the red cardstock. And we just tucked a little pencil in here. So what a cute little gift if you are a teacher or, you know, if you have um, a daycare or something like that, something fun, you could use that with. Here's another one using our little puppy dog. So I thought he, he's so cute. And this is our shimmer paper there, that shimmer and sparkle or whatever it's called. It's really pretty. It's three different colors. But we have our little puppy dog with that one. And then, if you think way outside of the box, let's say you're one of those people who don't like to give candy for Halloween. Why not go get yourself a pack of Halloween pencils and then just decorate your pencils up for Halloween and hand them out for trick or treat. This would be cute in a dentist's office, too. He doesn't always have to give out toothbrushes, although I don't know if a toothbrush would fit in there, but I just think this is cute. And besides the candy canes, I wanted to give you a cute little idea on how to use that little die. So there are three different little ideas. doesn't always have to be for Christmas, even though that's a Christmas pencil. You know what, though? I have, look at that, we get up little pencils from Stampin' Up. So we got this, and we'll swap out that red one. We should have used green. They even sharpen their pencils for us. Woohoo! So there we go. Now if I was doing this one, I would actually put a Highland Heather little, little bow on my doggy there. So, just super simple ideas. 
you got a fun co fun fold tonight, which is our book binder fold. Again, 11 by 4 and a quarter. And then you're going to score at 5 and a half and 6 and 3 quarters. And that's what makes your piece right here that you are going to adhere down. So, lots of fun. Easy measurements on this one. And I don't want you to go anywhere because we do have a drawing for last week. All of you who are watching live, I have seven of you right now, so make sure you comment because all of you watching live tonight are going to get your name put in twice next week. So you have a double chance to win. Yay! And I got a special gift next week. Oh, look it. I have ribbon here. Let's put some ribbon on. But yes, yay, because you get to play and uh, double your chance. So it's not Christmas without bows, right? So I'm just going to tie a quick little bow on here right by our ribbon. Since this comes with the whole suite as well, and of course, you know, I have the whole suite because it's pretty awesome. And you will probably see a class coming up using this suite or maybe the entire double suite. I don't know. And somebody here needs to sharpen her. There we go. So, boy, I get sidetracked easily, don't I? Squirrel. <laughs> Barb says she likes the cute pencil ideas. Well, good. I'm glad you do because they are really cute, aren't they? And you could probably, besides the candy canes and the pencils, anything that's thin like that, you could probably use. So, let's get on to our drawing. And don't forget, make sure that you comment, all of you people watching live, because your name's going to go in twice next week for the drawing. So, Vicki and Jenny are saying hello to each other. Girls, we need to get together and stamp. All right, let me pull this up. Vicki and Jenny and I were all on the same team. Our glitter addicts, that's what we were. Don't you love it? Okay, so here's all of our viewers from last week. So cross your fingers and see who wins. And I have a pack of the gold dots here. So they're perfect for Christmas right now. Alrighty. So ready? Three, two, one. Good luck, everyone. Ooh, it's being weird today. Congratulations, Anne. Woohoo! Thank you, everyone, for joining me this evening. I appreciate you taking time out to spend the evening with me. I hope we all thank you for all the love, and I see all them little hearts. I love you guys back. And I told you. You just made my day, and I feel so much better than I did before. So you have a good week, and I will see you soon. Thanks again for joining me tonight. Good night.